Thank you, uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker. This past year has been incredibly difficult for all of us, and I'd like to start by paying tribute to the people of Runnymede and Weybridge for their boundless resolve and community spirit, and to remember those who've lost their lives as a result of the pandemic. Many of my constituents are hurting. The pandemic and lockdown has hit us hard. Many haven't lost their jobs, many desperate to see their loved ones. This roadmap and the fantastic vaccine rollout brings those most valuable of commodities, certainty and hope. Something to look forward to, that life will get better. I want to go faster, but I also agree that the need for irreversibility and certainty weighs heavy. So I will support the regulations that we're voting on today, but I must reiterate that every day we have these restrictions in place, they're causing great harm and the government should move heaven and earth to lift them as soon as possible. But in the brief time I have in this debate, I want to talk about the broader provisions of the roadmap. As for all the discussion on the coronavirus regulations, these are only half the story. We talk a lot about the new normal, the return to normal life after the pandemic. The roadmap charts out the plan for lifting of legal restrictions, but not the return to normality. COVID has changed many aspects of life, and I've been calling for a long-term plan for living with the virus, and I'm pleased that the roadmap starts to tackle this through four reviews. Reviews into large events, COVID certification, international travel and social distancing. These four reviews are going to do all the heavy lifting. They're critical to setting out what our post-pandemic COVID world, our endemic COVID world, will look like after June. Because when legal restrictions lift, the impact of these recommendations will still be felt and they'll have far longer lasting impact than what we vote on today. They'll form the basis of what the new normal will be on a huge range of issues that impact on daily lives, from social distancing requirements in pubs and restaurants, to wearing of face masks, self-isolation, contact tracing. And so I'd ask the minister, if he could, in his closing remarks, to clarify for me that we'll get to the debate in this house, the outputs of these critical views, the government's endemic COVID roadmap, as it were, and that we'll be able to vote not just on any resulting legislation, but also to approve any formal guidance or provisions resulting from them. Thank you.